Thank you for joining me today. My name is Elliot and this is Freelance Duck Hunting and today starts the first review video of some old hunts from FDH and you may have not seen hunts that just live in my heart with the memory of fantastic waterfowling. Ones that I go back and watch, just the videos I really, really love that I wanna to bring to some of you guys who had never been exposed to some of my older videos. So today I've got a video from September of 2016. This is FDH season number two, and I will put a link to, season number two's got some really good videos in it. I'm gonna leave a link here to all season two videos, and I wanna show you this teal hunt. So over the next month or so, I'm gonna be showing you about four different teal hunts, my favorite four teal hunts from FDH, um, or at least my favorite videos. So if you wanna get a freelance duck hunting hat, I've got this cocky, I've got this khaki and coffee hat, also, I've got the camos. You can get these at theflywayscollective.com if you want to support what I'm doing here. Also, for a limited time over at patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting, you can get extra bonus freelance duck hunting content. And with a $3 a month, you can get a freelance hunt stats um, subscription as well. All right. Away we go. Old intro. You know, if he can eat raw possum, he can suck water, dirty water through it too. Possum's gonna be coming out with a shot clip and milk. Good old Danny boy. You know, I continue to get questions about Danny Boy. If you did not watch seasons one, two, and three, then you don't know who Danny Boy is. And it would be worth your while to go back and watch his antics when Danny decided to give up basically hunting and fishing and everything. As far as I know, he doesn't do any of it anymore. I'm still in contact with him a little bit. But it was a huge hit to the channel because, man, was that guy a flavorful character. So if you're not... if you. There's a Danny Boy playlist. I'll put it up here. Um, you know, if you want to catch a good old school Danny. So here we are on the teal opener. We showed up Thursday night and spent Friday morning scouting. And there was hardly any teal that we were seeing. And then finally, the last place that we scouted, we found a big batch of them in a beautiful spot. So we're really excited about it. And now we've got these migrants coming in and uh for teals already showing up right now so it's looking really good this is the same place that we were at for hunt one five and six last year here's this fella doing all good hello you ready to roll yeah good old corn made the trip straight from corn shop farms <laughs> yep we're here plenty early and i was nervous there it is. This is awesome in this hunt. The best spot in the entire complex. What do you think about that, Corn? Hypothetically, we haven't shot a duck yet. From what we saw yesterday. <laughs> so we're feeling pretty good. I was pretty nervous. I came around the corner and I saw a truck here and I was scared someone was here. So here are my freelance hunt stats data from this particular pool we're about to hunt. I've only hunted it three times. Um, you know, we just don't hunt it that much. When we find birds there, we hunt it. And I've limited out every single time I've been there. So three hunts, 18 birds, all of which, all of which are teal. And it was this guy with this beacon of light <laughs> bringing happiness into my soul. <laughs> Here I am. I'm early. I'm early. I'm off. We are actually walking in today. We don't hardly ever walk in. One of the first walk-ins we've done in a long time. This, this was actually the first hunt I've ever ever at this pool for me. So that's what we gotta do. So we still have how many time how much do we have till shooting time? And Danny Boy could cook some burritos, I'll tell you that. 347 and shooting time is 638. So we have almost three hours out here. And Dan is why not make burritos? Why yeah. not make fresh fresh burritos? Dan's doing it up right for us. Don't you think Izzy wants some of that? I can tell you that right now. Okay, that's it. 
This hunt is, if I had a top 20 favorite hunts in my life, this, this hunt might make that list. I can do that. I can do that. I think old Dan did a good job on this one. I'm hungry then right now. Kansas Coyotes. They're smelling Dan's burritos, I'm pretty sure. Well, we are one minute away from legal shooting. When I refer to prairie marshes, teal. if you've heard me talk about prairie marshes, either on the Duck Gun podcast or on my videos, it's what I'm talking about. Good old prairie marsh. Wow. This is awesome. Get him, guys. Get this one. Get him. Dude, someone get that duck. It's right in the in the decoys. Too dark, huh? Yeah. Water swat him down. Let's get one. Izzy. Go, Izzy, go. Get him, Iz. Steady as she does not go. I didn't film a pass here because I wanted to shoot, but we just had four came in and Jeff took one and I took the other. Here comes one. Got good movement going here. So far, so good. Dan's right here. All this water in here. It's like ankle deep. That whole pool's like ankle deep. Good shot, Jeff. And, you know, with teal. Two things really you're looking for with teal. You either want, first of all, you want three to five inches of water. The shallower, the better. So they will they either want to be in like smart weed. They love, love shallow smart weed. But also, even more than that almost, they love mud flats. And so if you get like a pool like this that's ankle deep to, le to uh, shallower, Man, they just devour those little invertebrates in there. But it's got to be that shallow where they can waddle around. Either of those places. They love mud flats. Dad, get, someone get that duck. You can tell on how shallow it is. Look at the mud there. You can see how shallow it is. I mean, it's shallow. Good, good job. Dan's got three. Right here, right here, right here. Man, it makes me sad to watch Izzy all. It makes me happy and sad at the same time. But well, she marked it perfectly. She just limps yeah. right now. She can barely. Oh, I mean, Izzy's getting to the point now where, I mean, I I watch her struggle even to get up anymore. And I got her on some meds and everything, but I don't know, man. I mean, when Izzy gets to the point where she can't even get up anymore, it's gonna have to be time to put her down, which. It's gonna be a bad day. They were nothing. Dogs will almost always stop short. Well, well my dogs. <laughs> she doesn't have it. Not dogs super. Dogs almost always stop short at cattails like that. She got it. She got it. What a retrieve, Izzy. Fantastic. Good girl. I think this is Jeff's. Good girl. She was actually starting to show limps even stop. back then. Was that fun? <laughs> I think you're a Sasquatch. Don't. Torn's always jacking with me and throwing stuff. No. It's like one of his favorite things to do. Let me see if I can get you to have some fun here. <laughs> if abusing me is fun, then stop. <laughs> bad, bad Elliot. <laughs> get him down. Oh, man. Now, I get asked this question somewhat frequently, 
and that's do teal calls really work? So I want you to watch this bird lock up when I hit this teal call. Watch him lock up. A little bit earlier than that, sorry. Watch him lock up. He's already starting to bank. But when that teal call is hit, watch him lock. Boom. Wing set. Teal calls absolutely work. Not all the time. Not all the time. But so they work. This is fast and furious right now. And it's just crazy. You, you so can turn you can turn them. Before we started using teal calls like that, um, and you would with a mallard call, I never, during teal season at least, never locked up a, a blue wing on a mallard call before. On a mallard call being called as a mallard call. I know some people will use a mallard hen calls and replicate the the teal sound, but um you just don't ever lock them up without without a teal call. We don't want to limit out in 30 minutes. Dan's got four. I've got four. Jeff's got three. Fumbleman's hadn't shot yet because he's trying to work his dog, which is not going well. She was steady yesterday during dove hunting. With all the excitement, she is just not steady, and he's really trying to get her steady. So I'm sure he's probably not feeling so hot compared to the rest of us. Would you say that? I would say that's true. Everything seems to be <laughs> used to wear face paint. Well, I'll tell you what, this back is then I just kind of stopped. I just, it's just I just messy. killed two with one shot right over here. You really don't need it for teal hunting. I killed two with one shot. I talked to some guy at Walmart. Never tried to help a snapping turtle. Snapping turtle tastes really good. <laughs> it's like possum. <laughs> I seriously will never believe anything you say about something tasting good that, that seems odd after, after seeing that possum video. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. I mean, it can't be good. Yeah, your reputation of, of what you deem tasty is shot. Yeah. <laughs> I've got you on video you and... saying how delicious a ramen noodle flavored possum was. <laughs> Dan and his possums. Here they come. Good shot. I think Dan shot this? that one. Who's getting that? Izzy. I'll tell you what. Dang. This is everything we could have expected. It <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Everything about this is. After all the struggles last year, yeah. this is a way to start. This is great. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a good season. Leave it. Yeah, we're killing it, man. Green. I'm going to come actually bring the stool over here because it's so beautiful. Green. Izzy, come. Oh, green wing. Nice. You've shot two green wings now. Oh, oh look man, at that. What a day. Beautiful. Not even sun sunrise yet. So beautiful out here. Holy cow. What was that? Corn. <laughs> Who shot that? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see it. You can actually see a blood plume there. Look at that. It's like you see the... Wait. Right. Stay. Stay. Sit. You want me to let Izzy go or a can candy? <laughs> that let, is a water swap let, corn. Let, uh, Izzy go. Izzy. Stay. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stood up. Aimed at him. So you can see the limp right there in Izzy starting. You can see. You can see it. Man. That blue on those wings sure is beautiful. It's in her uh, right shoulder. Candy was really struggling on her steadiness that day. I had many, many people message me and say that these are snipe. These are not, absolutely are not snipe. Snipe have a much longer nose or beak, kind of like more like a, a woodcock. Tell you what, I'm going to be able to identify these ducks after watching And this I never video. did. I mean, these little birds. I never birds. did. I never did. But they're not snipe. That's for certain. Widgeon. Now, let me tell you, let me show you real quick. For those of you that don't know. Let me show you how to identify these as widgeon. But when you see a silhouette and you see more of a tail, let's go through again. Watch the tail. See it? 
even on this one. See it here? On here? Um, here, here. You can see it on all of them. When you get more of the tail like this, it's either going to be a wood duck or it's going to be a widgeon. And um, there are other identifiers like the hood on the head with the wood duck that lets you distinguish between the two of them. But with the silhouette, it's that tail that's the giveaway with the widgeon. I think they're widgeon. I think they're widgeon. After all my shooting troubles last year, to start off six for ten, I'll take that any so day. Your last one? Oh, yeah, Dan and I have our limit now. Corn's got four. Fumlin's just been working the dog. He still doesn't have any, so we'll just sit here and see if we can film his limit. So, what a day. What a day. Still barely even sunrise. So, we're talking 45 minutes. That was about a 45 minute hunt. These birds here, I'm not positive what those are. Again, not snipe. They may be fallow rope. They might be fallow rope, but they don't have their spring colors, so it makes it hard to tell. Not positive. That's that would be my guess, though. Johnson's fallow rope. I don't know if that's right or not. I don't know. To Walmart the other day, and just happened to notice. I think it was for 20 bucks I could buy this mini water filtration system. And you can just suck water, dirty water, right through this. Now, this I'm was not, not try us trying to promote a product. A volunteer. <laughs> Fumble just picked and it up and we thought it would be funny. Is. We were not pushing Danny product boy, on this. Oh, Danny Danny boy. Boy. You know, if he can eat raw possum, he can suck water, dirty water through it, too. That is one of my favorite FDH quotes of all time. You know, if he can eat raw possum, he can suck water, dirty water through it, too. <laughs> You're going to suck right out of the marsh with that bad boy, huh? Are you really thirsty? I am. I'm really thirsty here. This is some nasty brown What a beautiful stuff day it was. <clears throat> we got, we got for the it. teal opener, it was really good, fortunate weather. Nice and cool. Compared to sometimes. That's what's going to be coming like out of me. Chocolate and milk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would never drink that. Okay. So, if you're a betting man, would you say he's going to vomit and have diarrhea? <laughs> uh, I, you know, it depends on the incubation time or whatever it is he gets. Classic bumble mitts. <laughs> oh, look, it looks oh, pretty clean. It looks clean. How is it? Nasty? <laughs> Is it gross? No. It tastes good? No, it tastes good. I mean, it, doesn't it tastes like uh, chemicals. So where does all the nastiness go? It's kind of like a garden hose. It tastes kind of salty. Really crystal clear. It's actually, this is a salt marsh. Right That's why it's salty. Larva. <laughs> Jeff's <laughs> urine. <laughs> if he has diarrhea throws up, there will, that will be added to this video. Fumblewood's is still trying to scratch out a few birds. He's only shot, like I said, two times because he's just been working the dog place. So Fumbles is sitting in the cattails over there waiting for some birds to come in, hopefully. Get him candy. An old Candy's a lot faster, more athletic strikes. dog than Izzy he's ever was. Now that he's a lot better bloodlines. And this is Kansas right here. Look at it. Awesome. Yeah. This is a prairie marsh if there ever was one. Yep. It's so beautiful in here. <sighs> when I say this is the real Kansas that most people never see. Average person never ever gets a witness in this environment. They don't come out and see it, and they don't know it exists. And it's the most beautiful part of the entire state. So that wraps yep. up hunt number one, teal opener. Let the 2016 
duck hunting season began. Couldn't have started much better for us. Well, there you go, an FDH classic. I'm so excited about putting out some of these other uh, review videos for you guys. In the meantime, I've got lots of actual hunts coming up. I'm so excited. Seeing that prairie marsh, just, uh, I can't wait to get out there. I just can't wait. So, thank you for joining me. If you're on an FDA chat, you know where to go, the flyawayscollective.com. And also, don't forget, freelance hunt stats. So, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.